My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got the almighty right here, the 1970 Chevelle SS454 LS6. For those of you that don't know, that was the highest horsepower production motor built back in the muscle car era, more so than the Hemi. It was rated at 450 horsepower. That was the top dog. In a 1970 Chevelle, you could argue is the most popular muscle car of the time. Supposedly, they built anywhere from 16 to 25 LS6 convertibles. I don't know if anyone knows the true uh, number that was built, but extremely rare and extremely desirable. I know they've sold for half a million dollars and more. They rarely come up for sale. This one here is an exact copy. It is actually numbers matching. They went as far as stamping the motor and the trans. You can't tell this from a real one. This was actually sold at one time as a real LS6. Uh, but anyway, it is nut and bolt body off frame restored to exact LS6 specs. Uh, beautiful car. I don't think there's hardly any miles on it since it's been done. I'll tell you all about it. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs and look at pictures top to bottom. And that's where we find the price tags on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale. That's volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, tops down. Join me. Let's go for a spin. And it's optioned out with all the good stuff. Cowl induction, bucket seats, four-speed, console. I mean, it's decked out. Fantastic colors. The forest green with the tan interior is just gorgeous. They did this wrong. The boot is always supposed to match the interior. So many people order the boot based on what color the top is. This is a black convertible top. You don't match this to the top. You match it to the interior. Uh, if you're the lucky one that buys this car, remind the salesman, I'll get you a tan boot. We'll keep the black boot for another car. That should be all tan. So anyway, underneath the car, make sure you look at our pictures. Body was off the frame. Every component taken apart. I mean, all of the suspension, bushings, ball joints, steering components, uh, everything was completely rebuilt, detailed. It has the correct spiral shocks. The original shocks had like a spiral uh, pattern on them. It even has those. It even has the, the tags uh, put back on like it would have went down the assembly line with. Uh, this would have the F41 suspension that's sway bars front and back, boxed rear control arms. The brake system's been completely restored and detailed. You got disc up front, all new brake lines, hoses, e-brake assembly. Uh, fuel system was all replaced. Tank, strap, sending unit, fuel lines has the correct exhaust system. No flow masters or nothing like that. Has the factory type dual exhaust with stock mufflers. Even has the resonators back in the tailpipes and the cowbell SS tips. You look up at the motor, it's spotless. You could eat off the bottom of the motor. The motor mounts, the starter, the fuel pump, all that looks like new. It's a Muncie, uh, I think it's an M21 uh, four speed that's in there, all rebuilt. The shift linkage, uh, clutch, all that's replaced. And again, the codes and the VIN number matching the car is stamped on the transmission. Rebuilt drive shaft, near U joints, uh, rebuilt 12 bolt uh, rear end in the back. I don't know the ratio off offhand. I'll try and, and find that out. Uh, put it in our ad on the, the website. Uh, so yeah, underneath the car, oh, the floors. The floors are immaculate. I mean, just perfect floors, no pits, no, no caulk or goo or nothing like that. Perfectly clean metal floors with a nice satin black finish. Uh, and the chassis is all restored, all put back on the frame with new bushings. Uh, so it's uh, completely restored underneath back to uh, factory new. The body is amazing as well. I mean, this is a professional job. The gaps 
are spot on, square, flush, absolutely straight. There's not a ripple. The hood fits flush as actual cowl induction with the flapper door. The hood fits square. This is always uh, or can be a problem area, getting this all to fit right, and it's spot on. You got correct T3 headlamps, uh, the grill, the emblem, the bumper, the bezels, lenses, everything up here has been replaced. The SS stripes are painted on correctly, the right dimensions. You got the hood pins because it's a cowl hood. This all fits real nice here. Uh, the metal flake is all laid out evenly, not spotty or blotchy. All this is mint, absolutely straight, laser beam straight. Wheel well moldings, emblems, all this stainless is polished. The windshield's so clear, it almost looks like it's not there. Chrome mirrors are replaced on both sides. It's a remote on that side. Door handles, rubber window seals, yeah, and this is all pristine. This is the body and paint's nicer than when it left the factory. I can tell you that. They weren't this smooth and glossy. All of this, nice. No, no issues, no problems that I'm finding at all. Nice and square. I say the convertibles all crack right here. There's a seam here from the, from the factory, and the, they flex and they crack. This one's not cracked, so it's one of the uh, unusual ones. No cracks. Stripes uh, painted on correctly. Got the SS pad, new uh, tail lights. All that's redone real nice. Uh, black convertible top, uh, all new glass window, the top frame, the rubber, the pump, all that's been redone. And again, remind us, we'll get a tan boot on here to match the interior. These colors are great. I've had a lot of compliments uh, on the colors. I liked it. I didn't know what other people would think, but so far, been getting thumbs up. Uh, correct SS wheels, they're probably new. All the trim, the center caps, lug nuts, all new. Even the uh, wide oval Firestone reproduction tires on there are new as well. So that's the outside. I'm going to take you under the hood and show you inside the car. You're about to see what a brand new trunk compartment looks like in a 70 Chevelle. Look underneath the trunk lid here. It's as glassy and shiny as the outside. Got new stickers, new latch, the jams painted real nice, new weather strip. Now the trunk compartment itself is perfectly clean metal with a really nice, neatly applied spatter paint. They didn't just spray it all over the wires and everything else. Uh, so that's very nicely done. This is a matching Firestone tire. Matches the others. There's still nubs on the tread. Hasn't been used. On a brand new SS wheel. Brand new correct jack assembly. Uh, the well liner, the mat has been replaced. The wiring has all been replaced. So, like I said, practically brand new trunk compartment. You can hear the rain coming down, so unfortunately we won't be driving this one, but we will start it at the end of the video. Now you got the nice saddle tan interior. Look at the door jam over there. It's painted beautifully. All new weather strips. The door panel's all new. It fits nice and straight. New armrest, window cranks. There's a joystick there for the remote mirror on the door. The dash panel is all, I'm sure it's all replaced. It's all like new. Uh, you got the complete uh, gauge package, including a 6500 redline tack. That's for the LS6. Uh, dash pad is mint. Uh, it has a speaker in each corner that came with the AM FM stereo, which it has. We also got a power top switch there. Heater control panel is nice. This is a deluxe steering wheel. It's on a tilt column. Now, down below the dash is an oil pressure gauge. Believe it or not, the factory gauge package never included an oil pressure. It's probably good to have in an engine like this. And you have the correct Muncie shifter. Not a replacement hearse, but that's the correct Muncie with the chrome ball. Uh, console looks pristine. Inside the glove box, real nice. 
Interior lights are working. So the seats are re-cushioned. They're nice and firm. When you have new cushions, the upholstery fits great. There's no wrinkles. The headrests would be dyed. They've been sprayed to match. So this has probably bumped the steering wheel a couple times, left some nicks in there. That's another uh, item. If you buy this car, remind the salesman that can easily be re-dyed. And then just be careful when you, uh, you know, throw it up towards the steering wheel there. It's exactly what happens. So all the trim is redone on the seats. Even down here, it's all looked beautiful. Light works at the back of the console. So, of course, the back seat, the rear armrest, the ashtrays, all that's been redone. Carpet. Visors, the mirror. Under the dash, all looks redone. This car was completely apart. Now the legendary LS6 454, 450 horsepower motor. Uh, these were high compression motors, I think 11 to one. They had solid lifters. Uh, this has the big port heads. This little uh, round thing indicates that, the rectangle port heads. That matches up to the rectangle port aluminum intake. Uh, it has all the correct uh, components, that's for the carburetor, the right fuel line, uh, all that is proper. Uh, the correct hoses, clamps, deep groove pulleys, that's because a solid lifter engine was designed to rev higher and you don't want the belts flying off, so they're deeper groove. And then this here is the smog equipment that came on four speed cars. That's all been put back in place. Correct hoses. Correct spark plug wires are even dated to this car. And just looking at every nut and bolt and wire, everything's been restored like new. This is all part of the cowl induction system. There's actually a, a flapper within the flapper. And you got the complete air cleaner assembly. Delco battery topper with the spring clamp cables. All the painted finishes are all smooth and correct. It's got the mirrors, or uh, mirrors. I called them batteries yesterday. They're horns. Cadmium plated brake booster. Got the right tags. Wiper motors, new. Power steering. All the wiring looks like it's been replaced. The right clutch fan. So you got show quality uh, engine apartment here. So there you have it. Amazing condition, amazing car, great list of features and options. It would cost you far more to build than what we're asking for this car. Locate a 70 Chevelle convertible, take it to a shop, have every nut and bolt restored, locate all the correct components, the correct 1970 block, uh, the heads, all that good stuff. Pulleys, reproduction tires, you're going to be in it way more. And uh, you know what? This car is done and ready to go right now. You could have this tomorrow if you wanted it. So there you have it. Uh, like I said, this car, uh, it's, it's an LS6 convertible. Uh, it wasn't built by the factory, but it was built probably better than the factory built it. And when it was sold as a real one, it actually took an expert, a hired expert, to prove that it wasn't. Uh, so they did a really great job of building this car. Uh, I'm flying to uh, Atlanta, Georgia in a couple days, and I'm going to look at a, a real LS6 hardtop and it's going to be priced twice what this is. Uh, so just a great car. There you go. This sells itself. I don't need to talk anymore. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Talk to the salesmen. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. Uh, they can help you finance this car at volocars.com. If you have questions or concerns, make sure you ask them. They'll help you the best they can. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. 
and you'll be notified when the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.